Hey guys, it's Bonnie. Today I am here to do a review on the book Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta, or on the Jellico Road. That's what it says on Goodreads, but my copy of the book just says Jellico Road. So that is what I will refer to it as. You have seen me talk about this book a little bit in my February wrap up and I said that it was my favorite book of the month and an instant all-time favorite. Oh my god. So obviously I had to do a review on this book because I need everybody to go read it. Everybody. I'm not going to give you too much of a plot just because I think it's really best to just go into this book not knowing much. I know people say that about books sometimes and it's not true but this I think it's just it's very wonderful to discover because I went into it not really knowing what it was about besides what it said on like the back cover which really doesn't say, you know, it doesn't really describe the feeling and the beautifulness of this book. So like don't judge it on whatever it says on the back. You just, you just need to read it for yourself. But I will give you a bit of a description. This book follows a girl named Taylor Markham who goes to a boarding school because at a very young age her mother just kind of abandoned her and she was found by this girl named Hannah who took her to this school and she's kind of been close to Hannah ever since, yada yada. This year is like her last year I believe, it's her senior year, and she has found herself as the leader of the school's little underground society thing because you have the kids that go to the boarding school and then you have the townies who are just in town and then you have the cadets who come to the school every single year uh, for a few weeks. Between these three groups you kind of get like a territory war going on and they all have their own leaders and it's very interesting. Very very interesting. And like I said Taylor finds herself the leader of the little underground group at her school. As we get into this book we find out that Hannah is just nowhere to be found. Taylor doesn't know where she went and she's feeling very conflicted because you know she always relied on Hannah for a lot and it's very weird for her not to have her there. Really all you need to know and like I know that probably isn't the most promising description but just you need to trust me because the book is so good. Honestly at first I wasn't sure I was even going to like it. Personally the first like few pages or so of the book are kind of confusing. I wasn't sure what was really going on but slowly Melina Marchetta started giving me more and more information so I could piece everything together and I was just sitting there like holy crap this book is beautiful. The main things I look for in a book is characters because if I don't like the characters or if I don't have any like I don't know if I can't connect to them in any way I normally won't like the book very much. I loved Taylor as a character. I loved reading from her perspective. She was just very real, you know? She didn't, she wasn't perfect, but she wasn't super annoying, like a, some YA characters tend to be. I just, I really, really loved Taylor as a character. I loved all the people in the book as well. I loved, you know, Griggs and Santagello, right, was his name? And Raffi and just all the characters in this book were so good. They were, they were just they were real and they weren't like annoying and they just made decisions that kind of made sense I guess and I just I really I really loved them so much I would love to keep reading about them honestly. The thing I want to touch on is the writing in this book because it's what makes the book honestly so good. It's so like I said beautiful so lyrical there's just like this I don't know there's just this way about how it is written that just makes it so freaking wonderful and I just all I'm doing is saying like positive adjectives here, but like it was, I don't want to like give anything away. I want you to completely fall into this book and discover its wonderfulness for yourself. I just, it was so good. The plot is very simple and there isn't a lot of things that go on, but it weaves things together, like these two different storylines together. Storyline is like from the past and you know what is present day and like little things just happen and you slowly start to get the full picture and you're just like oh my god I cried I laughed I cried some more the ending was beautiful and I just oh my goodness oh my goodness I just I'm just gonna keep raving just gonna keep raving about this book because it was beautiful and I don't know what else to say besides that it was beautiful because it was beautiful. The book is also a very fast paced read. I mean for me especially you can see that the font is pretty large and you know it's not, doesn't even go on the you know, like the full, it's not very up and down, you know, if that makes sense. So it was a very very fast read and it's just, I didn't want to put it down, you know, I just wanted to keep reading. <laughs> There was this one point, it was like 3.30 in the morning, and I was like, I just want to keep reading, but I'm so tired. 
and so I went to bed, but then I finished it as soon as I woke up. As you can see, it won the Prince Award, and I'm not surprised because it deserves it, and it just is great. It's so great. I can't, I can't say anything else about this book. So if you are looking for a very lyrical and slightly mysterious and just beautiful book with wonderful characters that you just feel for and you just feel them in your heart and you feel connected to them and just you just care for them and you know the plot isn't like I said the most crazy thing ever. Uh, she slowly starts bringing things in and I was able to you know guess everything basically at the end but I think you were supposed to, I feel. I don't know. Maybe not. I was able to, but it didn't like make it bad. Oh, so, yeah. I guess I will stop just raving about this book now so that you guys can go pick it up and read it. That's all I have to say for this book review, I guess, you know? Read it. And if you have read this book already, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments cuz like I'm sure you loved it. If you didn't, tell me why you didn't love it because I can't see a reason for not loving it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it was kind of just a lot of rambling and I'm sorry but I just couldn't. I needed to express my love for this book and that's the only way I really could I guess. Hope you enjoyed this anyway and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.